I just created my own world map battle royale simulator game, but for the first time ever with all the modern countries. We'll be progressing by month starting in the year 2024. So in January, there's going to be a war. In February, there's going to be a war. In March, there's going to be a war. Now, the current size of the country involved does matter, but it's not everything. For example, if San Marino attacks Italy, Italy's not going to instantly get wiped out. In April, we'll have two countries ally, then more wars until one country breaks apart in their own civil war. And then finally, we'll have two countries unite every December. December, and then we'll go on to the next year. That's how this process is going to go. So it is January 2024. Who is the first war? Who will start WW3? I guess it's South Africa. Now we're going to see in which direction they'll be attacking. Perfect. To the northwest. Or that's northeast. Fortunately, that points them in the direction of Mozambique up here. They're not going to get eliminated, but they are going to lose like half of their territory. Not really sure what they're going to do about these little dots right here they have. Here we go. February 2024. We have Honduras making a move. Now they can kind of move in a lot of different directions, but but it looks like they're maybe going towards the Caribbean. And it is like a perfectly straight 90 degree line. I think they just took over all these islands right here. It's all going to be Honduras territory. And the final war for the first quarter of 2024 is San Marino. No way. I didn't think, okay, well, it doesn't really matter what direction they uh, point in. Well, I mean, yeah, that's still going to be Italy. I swear, whenever I use an example country in the very beginning before I start the video, they always will pop up in the video in like a big way. Now to figure out how to draw these new borders. Like I said, they're not going to destroy Italy, but they definitely got a nice little blob now. Now, this is going to be the first alliance in the world. We're basically just picking two nations at random. First, we have Belarus, and they're going to be partnering up with Bangladesh, the B nations, baby. Never thought I'd see that. So they are not super far away from each other. It's going to write something on their nation so I remember they have a friend. Now, alliances will actually be useful because I will have either one of these nations now punch a little bit harder when they go to war. And if for some reason Belarus or Bangladesh both go after an enemy they border, they're both going to take territory. I just realized uh, B-E-L is probably not the uh, three letters for Belarus. I think that's Belgium or something. I don't know. We're back to three more wars. Let's see what happens. It's Myanmar. Pretty close to Belarus. Sorry, I meant Bangladesh. But uh, they are not going to be attacking that team, that is. Honestly, this actually looks like they're attacking Sri Lanka. That arrow kind of looks like it's pointing down to Sri Lanka. So we're about to see a naval invasion to get this island off the coast of India. And they're wiping it all out. This is now theirs. I'm actually not surprised we're already seeing a lot of amphibians attacks. That's probably going to keep on happening. Next war has Mongolia involved. That's scary. Well, it doesn't really matter where. It's either going to be Russia or China, and it's going to be Russia. They're actually taking a part of Russia that doesn't have a lot of people. I'm going to give Mongolia a good chunk. I'll let Russia keep their big city down here, because I know they really like that. I would say they do enough to protect there. But man, that Mongol horde is back now. Next up, it's the Bahamas. Uh oh And will they be attacking America? Yes, they are. They're going after Florida. The Bahamas are like barely even represented on this map, but they will be looking a lot better after this. Okay, we're just gonna assume the Bahamas secretly held like a lot of battleships and just a really strong navy to take all of Florida. We now have our first civil war. This is just gonna break a country apart. Not completely, but it is gonna be pretty bad news for some- Okay, well, uh, <laughs> that would make sense. Okay, so San Marino is going to go back to their little dot. And this is clearly Italians rising up because they don't want to be a part of the San Marino Empire. I'm not going to give this back to Italy, though. That wasn't really the intention. It can still go back to Italy. It might. All right, well, it's time for some wars first. Zambia. And they might become a pretty big thorn in the side of South Africa. No, they're not, actually. Zambia is actually going after Angola. They don't, however, have access to the ocean just yet, but they're getting close. Man, a lot of action happening in the Caribbean. They actually might steal some of those islands away now. No, I think they're going after Mexico. They're about to take the entire Yucatan Peninsula and a little bit and a little bit more. Okay, you clearly don't want to be in this part of the world. There's just a lot of action happening. Okay, we have the final war of the year. Oh, and Spain's involved. Now, Spain technically has a lot of different enemies they can go after, but of course, they're going after their old rivalry, Morocco. I'm actually not surprised at all there. It is the final month of 2024, and we're now going to unite two countries. First, it is going to be Korea North. North Korea. I don't know why they switched it like that. So for the unification, it's not going to be like the alliances where we just pick two random nations. We focus on one nation and then we spin the wheel, which means, well, yeah, North Korea is uniting with China, which I don't think is super far-fetched. Let's just get rid of this border. So 2024 is ending with the Korean-Chinese union right here. So far as we enter 2025, this is what the world map looks like. Still have a lot to do. First war, once again, it's South Africa. That's weird. They like to attack in January for some reason, apparently, and they're moving north again, this time taking out completely 
completely Botswana. Sorry, Botswana. Now we have Liberia, and they're moving towards the northeast as well. Nice little blob pickup there for them. Afghanistan, they're doing something. I'm not really sure if we want to know. They're attacking Pakistan. Their attempts to unite these Stan nations. Pakistan doesn't look so good no more. It's alliance time. Again, we haven't really been able to see the benefits of the alliances, but Bulgaria will be in this one at least. If they actually get to use the power, Bulgaria is allying to Bulgaria. No way. Okay, I'll, I'll give them another spin. <laughs> I would hope they'd be allied to multiple. Okay, well, hey, that's okay. These two places are at least pretty close. Now, I'd be very worried if I was Romania. All it's now going to take for one of these nations to attack them, and they're going to get wiped off the map. Wartime, we have Austria. Always like when the landlocked nations go to war. Austria is attacking Germany because it doesn't matter what direction the arrow points. I'm going to be giving them pretty much all of Bavaria, too. Pretty good looking Austria, I think. Kind of weird, actually, but whatever. Honduras again. I like seeing people show back up. Now, they actually have a large direction they can kind of go in, but they're going to move down, and they are absolutely taking out El Salvador. These guys looking pretty good now with their vacation islands and a thick part of Central America. More action in Eastern Europe, and Slovakia is going right, right towards kind of Ukraine a little bit. I can't even tell if this would be Ukraine or Poland, so I'm actually going to give them territory from both these guys. It is your lucky day, Slovakia. Not a big chunk out of either one, but uh, for Slovakia, they're probably feeling good. We're on to a civil war now. It's like the only time you really don't want your country to pop up on the spinner, and it is Ethiopia. It's going right down the middle like that. Ooh, we got the Vatican. Again, this is not going to be good for Italy. There's no real point to even uh, doing the spinner, but okay. Well, actually, there is, because this is the direction they're taking. Taking Italian lands from. I just realized that the Vatican isn't even technically included. All right, well, here they are originally, and I guess just by default, I'm just gonna give them like that. Italy's having so much trouble with these city states. Italy hasn't even popped up yet. I need to change their color because that looks too similar to Spain. There's chaos in the city states, remember, because this one's still in a civil war. Ooh, Jamaica time. Jamaica can technically move in many different directions, and they are actually moving, they, they might be taking Honduras' islands, or at least some of them, that is. They might have to share. These lower Caribbean islands will now be to Jamaica. It's disputed territory, basically. Djibouti. Now, will they be able to take advantage of the Ethiopian civil war? And it looks like that is exactly what they're about to do. Didn't mention this, but when an outside power is attacking a civil war nation, they're taking the whole thing over. It doesn't matter the size. I feel like that only makes sense. Have you seen the amount of military bases on Djibouti? Djibouti is a very important part of the world. A lot of trade goes through there because of the Suez Canal. Oh, man. Jamaica's going again. Maybe they'll get something better than islands. I think they are. The Euro starting from their original island. They're getting the northern part of Colombia right here. Once again, the Caribbean. Craziest part on this map. Alright, December 2025. We have a unification. This is where the biggest changes occur. We have Syria. Let's see who Syria is about to unite with. Possibly Iraq? Uh, no, they're moving north. That is a Syrian Turkish union we're about to see. We gotta do like something different with the names. We can't always just do you know, the union. Alright, here we go. It is now 2026. Let's see what empires pop up here. Papua New Guinea now doing something. Will it be for Australia or or Indonesia, because that's their only, um, no. I was gonna say those are their only options, but I guess it's not. We're basically, once again, just gonna give them all these islands over here. A lot of places like islands, I guess. It's February, we now have Slovenia, not to be confused with Slovakia. And Slovenia is taking out Croatia. Oh man, Slovenia and Slovakia looking pretty good. It's March, and it's time for Poland to maybe make it to space. Maybe not to space, but they are getting more German territory. Germany's really gonna turn back into just West Germany at this point. One more hit, and Germany's gonna get taken out. It's alliance time. Fortunately, the alliances haven't been able to do much just yet, but we're going to see Azerbaijan. Who is teaming up with Azerbaijan? It's Kosovo. What a crazy team there. Okay, these two great powers together. Um, I hope I remember the A there. Ko. Serbia is not going to like this. New Zealand's finally making a move. They're not left off the map, and they're not going to be stealing islands away from Papua New Guinea. They're actually just going to be stealing away a lot of territory from Australia. Well, they will be stealing one island. I think Tasmania's theirs. There you go. Not bad, New Zealand. Oh, no, Mon Mongolia, again, is going to be really bad for either Russia or China, and uh, who is that? Oh yeah, Russia's definitely losing all this stuff. I tried to let them keep it, but I don't think so. You know what? They're, they're taking the Northern Island of Japan too, just to make things kind of fair. A lot of scary forces in East Asia. Ooh, Armenia is now attacking, and I believe is that is that Azerbaijan or Georgia? Oh, that is definitely Azerbaijan. The other thing I forgot to mention <laughs> is when there are two similar powers like that, um, this is backfiring because they have the all-too-powerful alliance of Kosovo. Kosovo 
instantly destroyed Armenia overnight with all their power. Alliances have to do something here. What month are we on? Well, we're doing another war and it's Georgia. Oh no, this actually might really be a little bit awkward. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, that's, uh, all right. Well, just like that, we have Azerbaijan taking over all of the Caucasus mountain regions because again, the all too powerful Kosovo and they had Armenian territory underneath them. Well, there you go. It's time for a civil war. Is it going to be Azerbaijan again? I actually wouldn't be surprised if something like, oh, poor Ukraine. This is not what they needed. Just straight down the country like that. Oh, Bolivia, finally something in South America. And again, another nice landlocked nation. So someone's going to get hurt. I think that's Peru. Yes, it is. We are going to take a lot of Peruvian lands. Pretty much half the country there. Got like a greater Bolivia thing going on. Panama's doing something. Adding even more chaos to the Caribbean. I think they're going after Colombia. They might actually take a little bit of Jamaican lands out of this. They're going to take that and then some. Not a bad looking Panama, I think. Now, as for Nigeria, this might be a little bit too close to home. Oh no, I thought they might be attacking Niger, but I guess not. This part of the world has some chaos in it currently. Nigeria's got a bunch of new territory from that. Here we go. One of my favorite things. We have a unification. Oh, Croatia's not even around. Sorry, Croatia. You would have had a nice unification, but uh, you got killed. Bangladesh. They already have an ally. Now they're unifying with somebody. And now that I think about it, it is almost guaranteed to be India. Yes, it is going to be India. We are bringing back the Raj. But also, I don't want to forget that they are allied to Belarus. So this is looking like a pretty fun team right here. I guess I have to change uh, Bang because it's now Raj. There are certain powers that are definitely forming. They're looking kind of good, to say the least. And here's what the world looks like. It's been three years. We're now going to see wars take a lot more over. We're amping everything up. So maybe your country hasn't done much before, uh, but now is really the time. This is where everything changes. This is where you can catch up. Is Finland going to completely eliminate uh, Russia? No. They, that, I don't know if that's Sweden or Norway. That looks definitely more like a Norway to me. So we now have Sweden surrounded by the Finns who just eliminated Norway. And they just got a bunch of oil, I'm assuming, from Norway too. Oh boy, what is Italy going to do? What can Italy even really do in the situation that they're in? They're not even going to worry about the city-states. I think they're kind of going after Spain here. Can finally color in the random colors that Italy has. Is it Spain or is it France? That's the question. It's definitely pointing south west. It's more like it's west, less slightly south. I think that has to be Spain. We're having Italy take over Catalonia. As well as I'll just give them Sardinia too. We're taking that from France, whatever. Well, Italy's got to do something with all this chaos happening inside. The Bahamas once again. Uh-oh, the U.S. should be scared. Or maybe not. It's not going to be the Bahamas that are taking out. Sorry, the U.S. The Bahamas are obviously not going to be taken out. They're getting all of Hispaniola. They're taking out uh, Dominican Republic and uh, Haiti for this. Again, the Bahamas, they just keep going. Okay, we have another alliance. The alliances aren't going to do much in the beginning, obviously, but every year that we go by, the alliances get bigger and better. So the first member of the alliance is Bolivia, and Bolivia is looking pretty okay. They did just pick up some new uh, land. So who is going to ally to a powerful Bolivia? It's Australia. They need it because New Zealand's kind of being a little thorn in their side. So we're giving Australia the uh, purple. Oh, wait, you also have the purple. Well, we need to change colors then. Bolivia's turning into pink uh, and oh, wait, but Santa, dang it, I'm running out of colors. Give him this like darker, uh, Wait, you're also... No, those are different colors. Those are slightly different colors. Okay, bam. They have a Bolivian alliance, which should keep them now safe from New Zealand. And now Bolivia's looking really strong because they've got an Australian friend. Three more wars. It's May. We have Slovenia again. Wait, what is this? Slovenia is, I think, attacking San Marino, I think. Yeah, that that they're definitely taking advantage of the civil war that's happening in San Marino. So in their attempts for this city-state to take revenge on Big Bad Italy, they took a bunch of Italian territory. The Italians rose up, started a civil war, war. Slovenia, who just took out Croatia, took advantage of that and then crossed the Adriatic Sea for a little amphibious invasion. Very nice. We're able to start building some stories here. Equatorial Guinea. What is Equatorial Guinea going to do? They're moving down here. Maybe they feel the threat of Nigeria coming at them, but uh, they do have new territory. Finally, France is doing something. Hopefully not surrendering. Now, there's a lot of things going on nearby France, um, and that, okay. If you put that arrow in the core in the heart of the country, it actually looks like they're attacking Algeria. Algeria. So they're taking back their old colonial territory of Algeria. We now got a civil war again. It's always messes with countries. Oh, it's Latvia. Well, Latvia, at least, you know, you weren't doing a whole lot anyways. It's not the worst thing ever. It's gonna do that, but one of the Baltic neighbors could easily come and eat this up. And we got something from Kenya. There's still a lot of places in Africa that need to consolidate, that's for sure. But unfortunately for the penguins of Madagascar, uh, they no longer have a home. Or at least they're Kenyan now. Gotta get rid of Madagascar off the list. Oh no, New Zealand again. This is super bad for Australia. Like, safe to say, or maybe Papua New Guinea. Oh, no, it's just Australia. Wait a second, but Australia has, now, I don't know what we do here. I did say that if you have alliance 
and you attack someone, it backfires. Those were nations that didn't pick up any previous territory. It was Georgia and Armenia who didn't already do something before. So yeah, that was going to backfire. But New Zealand has territory, so I don't really know what to... Maybe we flip a coin. If New Zealand had nothing and they attacked a Australia with an alliance member of Bolivia, then yeah, I'd, I'd have New Zealand get wiped out. Because they were successful and they picked up land, it gives them like an extra point. All right, we're flipping a coin to see heads for Australia's tails for uh, New Zealand. There you go. It's New Zealand. That'll be how we handle that. Now, Australia is not dead, but they're really close. Pretty much, in fact, just been banished to Perth. Now, definitely, if New Zealand attacks again, uh, they will not be saved. It's not even a coin toss. This is like a really powerful New Zealand that won twice. They're just getting wiped out. Again, more chaos in this part of the world. And I'm now just realizing it's because there's a lot of small countries there. Okay, Belize, I think, is attacking Guatemala. Yeah, they're wiping out Guatemala, so Belize just got a little bit bigger. I don't even know what we're on at this point, but we're doing a unit. Okay, there is this going to save Germany? It is Union time. Now, this would be real weird if, uh, okay. That is definitely, I think, them uniting with Switzerland. I mean, this is, or is it? Could be Switzerland or France. We are amping up everything at this point. I think it's only fair that we amp up the unions. Okay, here we go. This is now the Franco-German Swiss Empire. As Germany began to collapse, they knew they had to do something. They were desperate, and they saw that France just conquered all of Algeria, so they're like, well, let's just join our enemy, uh, France. France finally got their revenge for WW2. It would make sense that the Swiss joined as well, kind of, just because a lot of the Swiss country speaks French or German. The southern part speaks Italian, but I, you know, no one cares about that side. <laughs> they do. I'm making a joke. I'm making a joke. It is a smaller part of Switzerland that speaks Italian. It is mainly French and German. All right, here we go. So it is now 2028, and the map is getting crazy. Okay, Libya. So there's a lot of movement happening in North Africa. They might actually take back Algeria. No, they're moving south. Libya is actually moving in after Chad, and they just took all of Chad. They are now the Chad nation. Uh, Pakistan, who's really broke. Oh, man, this is going to be interesting. If Pakistan uh, takes on India right now, they're getting wiped out. Yeah, they're getting wiped out because Pakistan was already pretty powerful, and they lost a lot to Afghanistan. Man, they really have reformed the Raj. They just kind of need, like, Myanmar. March of 2028. Oh, and Portugal's doing something. About time. What is Portugal going to do? They're going to attack, I think, Spain? Yeah, that's definitely Spain. I just don't know what they're going to take. Let's say they're definitely grabbing the south of Spain. I'll even give them a part of Morocco, too. Poor Spain. They're looking horrible right now. Okay, it's time for another alliance. The alliances, I'm glad. They have had an impact. Pretty big impact, actually. Didn't think they were, but again, it's really supposed to have a weight. It's huger and huger every... Uh, year that goes by. So the first alliance member will be Brazil. Uh-oh. Maybe to counteract a little bit of action from Bolivia. And they're allying to Taiwan. All right. What a team these two will be. That'll actually keep Taiwan maybe safe from the Korean-Chinese Union. Although this is probably going to make the Chinese very upset. Aren't they in BRICS? Brazil is? And you're now allying to Taiwan? What's going on? Next up, we have Bhutan. Can Bhutan do really anything in this situation? I don't think they can. I think they're getting wiped out. Yeah, Bhutan just attacked a very powerful Raj with a Belarus alliance. Sorry, Bhutan. You guys are gone now. Next up, Uruguay. You guys might be the next to go. You kind of don't even want to pop up at this point, and it just gets a little bit... Wait, where are you going? Oh, that's... Yeah, that's towards Brazil. Okay, Brazil's taking over Uruguay. There you go. Bam, gone. A little bit scared what's happening here in the late game, because I know a lot of things are changing. Okay, Serbia. My, uh, the way I formed this simulation, you know, I was really only thinking about the early game. Where I guess we're getting into the mid-game of my little strategy game that I've come up with. I'm wondering if all the mechanics are going to break down. Uh, Serbia's attacking a, uh, okay, a Bulgaria that definitely is not, yeah, they're not falling. Man, if only it was, uh, if only Moldova was closer, I would have given Moldova a little bit out of this, but Moldova does not border Serbia. Would have absolutely given them a little bit of this territory too. Okay, Uzbekistan, not a whole thing, a lot of things happening in Central Asia. Do they need to be careful of China though? Because they might, oh, no, they are attacking Turkmenistan down here, and those countries have united. I need to give them maybe a different color so that it, I don't confuse them with the Raj. All right, is this Estonia are you going to take advantage of that Latvian civil war? Uh, no, they're going to attempt to attack Finland. If you can't join Nordic, then maybe beat them. Is that what their strategy is? But this is going to backfire because Norway is uh, a lot powerful. Oh, they don't have an ally, though. They united with with Norway, right? Let's say this backfired, actually. We have a civil war. Oh my goodness, that is horrible. Well, that is super not good. The Raj was looking great, too. So the Raj came with India, realized, oh, we don't we don't like this anymore, and then they backed away. Now, I need to remember that uh, they're the ones allied to Belarus. This is their ally, not India's. So I don't really know what is going to happen here. We have another war this time with the Egypt, and Egypt is going, I think, after Sudan. That's a very big Egypt, because I just realized this map does not 
not include South Sudan as a country. This map that I use, I love the map. I like the nice thick black borders, but uh, it's it's clearly old because I they don't have so many countries that are supposed to be on there. Ooh, Djibouti is pretty powerful. Are they now going to be a problem for Egypt? No, actually, they're moving south. They're moving south and they are taking over Kenya. Kenya now just exists in Madagascar, though. I need to remind myself this is a Kenya with penguins. Tajikistan. So more out of Central Asia. Oh, boy. I'm going to have them pick up some stuff, but um, they're not going to pick up everything. They get this right there. Something like that. All right, we're uniting two nations, and it's going to be Myanmar. Myanmar's looking okay. They're looking better now in South Asia now that uh, the Raj have broken apart. Wait, I now just realized they can technically ally to the Civil War, which was Bangladesh. They're not, though. They're not allying to the Korean-Chinese Union. And they also have uh, this area, too. So we have the Korean-Chinese Union and including Burma. I only use Burma because it was, it was easier to write that down as faster. The map as of 2028, there's been, like, nothing happening between Canada, the U.S., and Mexico. I now just realized that. This is five years into our campaign. This will be the last one. And again, it's Slovakia doing something. I swear the same nations be popping up sometimes. It's like they like the, the spotlight. Slovakia is moving north. Slovakia is definitely attacking Poland. They already took a chunk out of Poland before, remember? Slovakia is looking really blobby. Zambia moving again. Zambia is moving now towards the northeast, though. Taking out all of Tanzania. What? Those are some really weird borders, but okay. Okay, Brazil's got a nice Taiwanese ally. Let's see what they do with that. I think they might have eliminated either Colombia or Venezuela. I'm gonna say it's Colombia because they were already really struggling. We're just taking all that. It's time for an alliance. Oh, man, and Spain really needed that. And it's a former Spanish colony, Chile. They both needed that. So there's now going to be a little bit, it's kind of some lot of fighting happening down in, all over the place, obviously the fighting's happening. That could save Chile, but it probably won't save Spain because they're just dealing with so much. Being attacked by Italy from Catalonia, Portugal from the uh, the West. It's time for, oh boy, and here we go. So what happens? I'm actually a little bit scared because I was looking at all those alliances over there and I, I'm not really sure what the logic is going to be if, okay, Brazil I think is attacking Africa at this point. It looks like Brazil just took out L Liberia, to be honest. I know Liberia took out another nation, or they took a chunk out of a nation, but Brazil has, they have Uruguay, they have an ally, and they have half of Colombia, so they're taking out all of Liberia. Glad I didn't have to do the math on how we were gonna make, uh, okay, well, now it's Chile. We have to figure out something, unless Chile just attacks randomly in the ocean. No, I think Chile's attacking Argentina. Yeah, they're taking over all of Argentina, because the last year, it just, all this is gone. Wow, okay, Chile all of a sudden just became a pretty big player on the map. We now have Ecuador, so much out of South America. Re I think this is gonna be really bad for Ecuador. Okay, who is that? It looks like, honestly, Ecuador is attacking a part of Mexico. That arrow looks like it might have pointed somewhere, like, here. So, they're, they're just gonna take that over. Okay, I don't even know. Where are we at? What month is it? I think Mali just had a civil war, which is not really gonna affect them too much. They weren't really doing anything. Finally, something out of Iran. They're gonna get their next big move, and they're moving north. There's already a lot of chaos up there. Kinda looks like Iran is taking a chunk out of both of these nations. I'm gonna give them both this stuff. Kinda too perfect. We're, yeah, they're just gonna take like that. See, we're giving Iran like a dark green, more like uh, Persian colors. Something out of Albania. Are they gonna just make more chaos in Italy? Yes, they are. I'm giving Albania the entire boots. You're getting all of that. Wait, Serbia's dead. I forgot Serbia's dead. The Philippines, okay. Just anywhere but right. You want anywhere but right. Okay, that works. I think. Wait, who is that? Because right would have just put them in the Pacific. That's that's kind of like Malaysian territory. I'm gonna give them, I guess, all of Malaysia, but there's still a couple of, there's Singapore obviously over there too. They, yeah, they're gonna get all that. Somalia, but they need to be careful of uh, Djibouti. A lot of people need to be careful of that. Uh, but they're, I think they're okay. Or no, no, they're not okay. They're we're getting they were wiping them out. Somalia has not moved at all. Meanwhile, Djibouti has taken over all of Kenya and all of Ethiopia. I know that there's no ally there, but it's yeah, it's in the late game. Crazier things need to happen. Are we doing a union? Oh, and it's with Russia. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. If if they unionize, if they union with China, that they're gonna be just unstoppable. It is not gonna be with China though. That kind of looks like Finland. Remember that Russia was struggling from the very beginning because of Mongolia. I guess they could have just unionized with uh Mongolia. Unionized does not sound like the right word, but well, that's an interesting way to end it. That's right. I forgot they also had Estonia. Let me know if you'd like me to do more of this in the future or how I can improve it. I feel like I was definitely going to start to have trouble keeping up with, like, I don't even really know who has what. It's, it was going to get crazy. Big thanks to my patrons. Destiny. <laughs> 9,000. Drew needs to pay his taxes. Why am I doing Karina this? Best John. Girl. Denver. I'm the kidnapper. Jack, Jack Traven's the annoying friend. Inquisitors. Ransom. This Inquisitors. By Zeris. 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 Caleb. Australia is real. Book. I am not a paid actor. Luxembourg. Patrick Dye. Subscribe to Drew. Ralph. Seven. Six. Become a patron by checking the description down below.